So I'm the program director of PASO here. We are at the fifth annual back to school um, occasion and this is our 243rd weekly food pantry which is going on from since COVID. Um, we are running many programs such as domestic violence, mental health awareness. We are uh, working on the mental health awareness. As you can see, the next standing person here is the, our beloved council member Farah Lois. She is a big supporter of women empowerment and domestic violence and mental health. You just name it and she is there for you. She is helping the community. Um, we also have our um, medical doctor on board. We are working the old older age club and we conduct weekly free classes for the older people in our community to make them happy to so they are if they are healthy they are happy so i'm gonna pass mic on to our beloved far lois um president, president uh, paso uh, shaheen koker and she will introduce uh, Farah lois the paso president and uh, we help community like it's almost five years now for the food pantry this is our today is our 243 food pantry and uh, also our fifth annual uh, back to school uh, we're doing today with our beloved Farah Lewis who is always uh, with us and uh, now I give it to Farah Lewis to say something. Good afternoon everyone I'm council member Farah Lewis I represent council district 45 I want to thank Shaheen and Sayed thank you. so much for their leadership uh, we're here at Paso's fifth annual back to school event and pantry. I'm so grateful for former leadership Atia, who uh, was you're still the boss lady, um, <laughs> sharing efforts with this organization to make sure that we're providing services to the community. Um, this pantry, this initiative is just as um, old as I am when it comes to operating. I started when I started office five years ago is when this actual initiative started. So we all started off together. We're, we're, like, we're married. So <laughs> I'm so grateful to this organization for prioritizing quality domestic violence, mental health and counseling services, supporting youth and women all over our district, but more importantly, those that live in the Coney Island, Kensington, Midwood section of my district. Without organizations like PASWO, we would not have the support services that we need. They, su they supplement the services that the mayor's office gives to our community to support families, women and children. Thank you so much for organizing again, one of the most fantastic back to school events. Um, I'm one of Paso's biggest champions in the city council. I love this organization and look forward to it being here for many more years and doing many more services for the community. And as you can see with great leadership here, the organization will thrive. So thank you so much. We look forward to giving out the book bags. Paso is one of the leading organizations to provide services when it comes to domestic violence, mental health, uh, any kind of women's health issues. Uh, this organization has been providing their services, especially nutritious, healthy food. We know that that's very important for our mental health to eat nutritious food. Paso has always given out fresh food to the community, as you can hear, for the last five years. They've been doing this work. We look forward to them doing many, many more. And I know that you guys have much more services to provide the community. It doesn't stop here. There's many, many more. So yes. we look forward to this organization thriving. Oh.